What's going on guys, Ethereum. Today I'm bringing you guys another class setup video. In today's video, I'm going to go over some of the best classes for search and destroy competitively. If you're playing GBs, UMGs, I'm going to show you guys some of the best classes that I encountered. I've been playing UMGs since like the beginning of this game, so I know like some of the classes that are really, really like useful and helpful for UMGs or GBs, anything competitive search and destroy, um, these classes will help you guys out a lot. I only play search and destroy, I don't really play respawn I'm not really a respawn person I only play search and destroy but let's get right into the video start off the video with my first battle class this is a normal battle um, with lightweight overcharge and mute and the last two perks are always going to be the same I, I always have fast hands toughness and blast suppressor sometimes I have like cold-blooded instead of fast hands uh, just you know the perks you can switch up but anyways for your first class normal battle I mean self-explanatory lightweight overcharge if you just want to you know go for the kills don't even use stuns or nades whatever this is just the class then we have two stun battle I use this whenever I'm like playing kids that really rush I just you know slow them down I guess um, using two stuns is really helpful you can also put um, overcharge instead of lightweight which will give you a lot more mute um, so you don't you know you don't run out of it as quick next up we have a cold-blooded class uh, for the battle 27 once again I have lightweight overcharge with mute and a cold-blooded instead of fast hands and toughness blast suppressor um, I mean, it's self-explanatory, so next thing, Amelie, this is probably one of my favorite classes to use. I know it's a little bit of a bitchy class because, you know, Amelie overkill shotgun, but anytime, anytime I'm playing, uh, like, Biolab or whatever, or just maps that people really, like, snipe and stuff, uh, the LMG is really good because, um, it, it, it kills so quickly, in my opinion, that it's very, very useful. But anyways, I have quick draw grip and thermal on it, then overkill attack 19 with advanced rifling. Once again, I have lightweight, fast hands, uh, toughness, and blast suppressor. Sometimes you can take off the lightweight to put on like a grenade or a trophy system, whatever you want. But I like lightweight on it uh, just for the shotgun when I switch. Next up, we have a normal ASM1. Um, I really don't like or like lightweight on the ASM1 for some reason. I rather have overcharge with overclock and mute. Uh, it's just more efficient in my opinion. Uh, it just lasts a little bit longer so I can rush faster and stuff. Uh, I might change up, like, I might take off Overclock and just put uh, Lightweight, but for now on, uh, this class is very, very good. Next up, we have a Sniper class. Um, I used to only use a Sniper with Thermal, but I switched to a Thermal stock, and it does really help you out a lot, especially if you're, like, strafing through windows on, like, Solar or maybe Biolab. Um, if you're in a window and you have stock and thermal, it's very, very easy to get a kill. I have an overkill ASM1 with advanced rifling, lightweight, fast hands, toughness, blast suppressor with a mute and a grenade. Sometimes I switch out the grenade um, for a stun. Uh, it depends what map I'm playing. Next up, we have the almighty IMR with red dot quick draw stock. This is probably one of the best and most overpowered uh, you know, guns in UMGs, especially if you're host. Um, it, this gun just absolutely shreds people. I have overcharge. Uh, with fast hands, toughness, blast suppressor, mute, and two stuns. Um, once again, I'm rocking two stuns on this one uh, because if I'm playing with kids that just rush, I can just easily stun them, and get an easy, easy kill. Next up, this is a random class. I I have to change the name of this. I really do like naming my classes, but I have to change this one specifically because um, I've been just messing around with this class. But I found out that this class is very, very good for Detroit. Um, I have danger close, fast hands, toughness, blast suppressor. Battle 27 with mute and two frags. Um, it's really easy to get a kill if you know if they're camping in like yellow building or green, or if they're in B bomb site um, on Detroit. It's very easy to get a kill with danger close and frags. Um, next up, we have a IMR with cold blooded. Once again, I have nades on this one um, because for a different situation of home playing solar or whatever, and you know people just snipe with thermals or whatever it is. Um, I just use this class instead of uh, the this one, and you know just. It just helps you out a lot. Um, once again, I have frags on this one because um, if they don't rush back, if they're just sitting back sniping, I can easily just get a kill of a nade. And yeah, this is and this is one of my uh, again bitchy classes. I have a shotgun on. This is a battle 27 with quick draw and stock, uh, lightweight, fast hand, toughness, blast suppressor, exo mute, and stun with attack 19 um, with advanced rifling. I only use this class on one map or maybe two maps sometimes. Uh, Detroit when I'm like defending B or we're trying to get in B on search or if I'm playing terrorist and the other team is also using a shotgun um, I just use this class to pretty much get back at them But that's pretty much my classes like you guys as you guys can tell I don't have like 60 classes like some of the freaks out there But anyways, that's my class setup video. Um 
you know, it depends. You guys can change up uh, lightweight or whatever. And if you if you personally don't like using overcharge and rather have two stuns, whatever, you guys can change it up. But that's pretty much my basic knowledge and you know some of the good classes for specific maps um, that I use. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys took one of or two classes from this video uh, just to try them out. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.